6.4 matrix operations. We're going to concentrate in this video on multiplying matrices. So there are the easier operations of adding and subtracting them. Very straightforward. And um, solving a matrix equation is part of this, uh, but, but in, in this section. But we're multiplying matrices in this section. We can multiply two matrices only when the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. Here's an example. We have a matrix B here, which has three rows and two columns. So it's a three by two. And a matrix C, which is a two by two. And so we do have the number of columns in the first matrix the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. The resulting matrix will be given by these outside numbers. The number of rows in the first matrix by the number of columns in the second matrix. So the result will be a 3 by 2 matrix. Okay, so I think this sort of picture is helpful. So when we try to figure out what's going to be in row 1, column 1 of the product, BC, I like to circle the first row in the first matrix and the first column in the second matrix and that kind of gets me going with row one column one so what we're going to do is multiply the row matrix zero negative four by the column matrix two negative one that column matrix will be used for all of the rows in column one The 0, negative 4 will also be used in the uh, row 1, column 2 of the product, along with what we see in column 2 of matrix C. So that's negative 4, 0, negative 4, 0, negative 4, 0. And so we're, now we're going to go through and use 2, negative 7 in column 2. Negative 1, 3, negative 1, 3. Okay, so up next we'll do all those products. 3 by 2. So again, it'll be 0 plus 4. I'll just go column by column. So in row 1, column 1, we're going to have 0 times 2 plus negative 4 times negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1. And of course that's going to end up just being 4. This is going to be 4 plus 7. This is going to be negative 2 plus a negative 
3. 0 plus 0 plus 0. Negative 8 plus 0. 4 plus 0. <clears throat> For a final answer of... Column 1 is going to be 4, 11, negative 5, 0, negative 8, 4. And that's going to be the product of the two matrices. Now, what I'm going to attempt here is a calculator check. So we have to define our matrices. We have to go into the matrix menu, second x inverse. We'll just use the same letters, B and C. So we'll edit matrix B, enter. B is a 3 by 2 matrix. You have to tell the calculator that, 3 by 2. We input all of the entries as you would think. This goes uh, row by row, so 0, negative 4, 2, negative 7, negative 1 and 3. So that's matrix B defined. And now let's uh, define matrix C. We go back into the matrix menu, second x inverse. Let's edit matrix C. It's 2 by 2. 2, enter, 2, enter. Row 1 is 2 negative 4, row 2 is negative 1, 0. Now we go back to the home screen. Second mode is quit. Let's go get matrix B. So second x inverse, names, select B, enter. Now we'll go get C. We hit enter, and it looks like we got it. So it looks like our, our uh, calculator confirms our work in matrix multiplication. And that will get it done for this objective.